30 some odd years after Star Wars. To do number seven, I felt, you know, very happy to be able to continue adding to this glossary of themes. JJ did speak to me about the feeling we would all want to have that this is Star Wars. All we need is John Williams and then it's done. And particularly connected, if we could, to the earlier films. We also have Leia and we have Han and Luke revisited here. There are references to earlier thematic connections between characters and music and so on. And that seemed a very natural thing to do and combine it with new melodic material for the new characters. Ray, her theme has a musical grammar that is not heroic in the sense of a hero's theme. It's kind of an adventure theme that maybe promises more than resolving itself in the most major triumphant resolutions. first meet her, she's been alone, she's without her parents. I felt a lot of empathy for that girl. And I think Ray's theme needs to illustrate that. I approached the task of Kylo Ren really just as an extension of Darth Vader in a way. Show me again the power of the darkness. And I didn't want to get too close to it. If it could convey in a few short notes, as the Imperial March does, this evil power, strength, threat. It needs to be something that will hit you and is accessible right away. 1M1, take 756. When we recorded the opening and closing of the very first Star Wars film, I didn't have any idea there would be a second one. None of us had any idea that we'd ever hear the music again. When we played the music with the orchestra, the beginning and the end, it was a celebratory moment for them and for me and JJ. It was like visiting an old friend. Having kept up with them this long, I have to say that I just feel very grateful. Hello, film lovers and filmmakers. I'm J.J. Abrams, and I have a very exciting opportunity to share with you. For the last few years, Lucasfilm celebrated your love and passion for the incredible Star Wars saga by holding a fan film competition. Now, they've told me I can't enter, which, 